We have 90 seconds to go. You know, at home you're watching it, and, and, and you look at it, and it's a 20-point it's game, and, and you, it's hard to find the significance at this point. But I tell you something, these Vinyl Haven kids and, and Central Rooster kids off the bench are getting incredible exposure right now. They will be disappointed, Vinyl Haven will, until they wake up tomorrow morning and look back on their season and say, hey, we had a pretty good season out here. Wow, they had a great season. As it's put up and in by Chad Boyd of Central Aroostook. And for the Panthers of Central Aroostook, what a marvelous season they have had. You can see the time under a minute. Right-hand corner, lower right-hand corner of your screen. That's what we've got left. As the team get a little bit ragged out here, but we've got a lot of new players in the ball game. The long shot by Heath Conway is no good. Rebound. Frank Carney of Central Aroostook. No look pass. Mahan. Mahan. Puts it up, it's no good. The rebound, and they're just batting it around now. Jake Thompson's battling for everything out there. Here's Brady Mahan off the back of the rim, no good. And Locke puts it back up, and we get the whistle before. Most of, the, most of the people who started the game, as you see Brady Mahan's shot. Silver got hit with a foul. Just a shade under 24 seconds left to go. And this one will be in the book. Boyd misses the shot, and the rebound is slapped out of bounds. It will belong to Central Aroostook. Panthers came into the East seed at number one, and they made it stand up. Perennial favorite, Jonesport Beal. Could not defeat them. Brady Mahan will go to the line. He's a six-foot sophomore. Once again, there's no telling what this experience is going to do for this club next year. All of these uh, young players getting a chance to play today, getting a chance to see what the Augusta floor is like. Seth Locke tried from the corner. It was no good. Now Philbrook has his pass intercepted. Here's Carney all along, but we're going to call the whistle and the foul committed. Of course, the fans behind us, who are from the Mars Hill area, from Central Aroostook, they want this play that you're seeing uh -oh. in replay continued. Because breaking just ahead of that ball is senior Frank Carney, who looked like he was ready for the slam. David Watts, the eighth grader for Vinylhaven, wasn't going to let him go in a break. Knocked out of bounds off the missed shot. This will belong to Central Aroostook. Seven and a half seconds left to go. Here's Locke with the shot. It's partially blocked. We are down under three. 1994. Class D, boys state champion. Central Aroostook. A happy bunch of Panthers. They deserved it. And there's your Panther right there. 